auditions for the fall play. I can't believe we're doing Dazzled this year. Ooh, nothing holds a candle to the glamour of legitimate theater. I was born for the lead. Selfie Soot, a coal miner's daughter with the heart of a dancer. Let's all do the play together! Ah! It'll be like planning an amazing party where everything has to be perfect or we get embarrassed in front of the whole school. Right, Fluttershy? I'm Fluttershy, trying out for coal miner number two. <clears throat> Down here, we mine for coal. Uh, you okay, Fluttershy? Oh. It would be so fun to be in the play with all of you, but when I think about trying out on stage all alone... Mm -mm. You perform all the time with the Rain Booms. What's different when we're all together, it's less... terrifying. You know, I got just the trick for stage fright. I bet I can help too, in half the time as Applejack. It ain't a contest, but if it were, I'd win. Really? Hmm. Who should I pick to help me? practice speaking in front of a crowd. Ready? Mm -mm. Ah! You'll thank me later. Game on! There goes, um, number 22 with the score time what? running. Um, oh, help me somebody. The ball goes up and boom goes a header ball. A head ball. Uh, Oh, no. Uh, huh? Lose yourself in the game! Come on, Fluttershy! Number 22 is pushing to the limit. The ball is tucked away by number 34, who passes back to Dash. She holds it, makes her move. She's cutting ears across. She's wide open. I don't believe it! Down here, we mine for... And the crowd goes wild. Surefire's cure for stage fright is to picture everyone in the audience as a bunch of chickens. Chickens? <laughs> a little cluck cluck and it'll pluck you right up. You never heard of this trick? Mm -mm. Everyone does it. And I mean everyone. Even you? <laughs> oh. Told you. Picture everyone in the audience as a bunch of chickens. Chicken, 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 chicken. I'm Fluttershy, trying out for coal miner number two. Down here, we mine for coal. <laughs> chicken trick worked, huh? Actually, I pictured everyone in the audience as you, Applejack. We believe in you, Fluttershy! <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad you were able to imagine it in one way or the other, because my backup plan wasn't so hot. <laughs> Speaking of which, I should probably get them back to the farm.
make an entrance. Oh, I'm so excited for my, uh, hangout with Timber Spruce. First, we're gonna peruse the exhibit on gravitational fields for 13 minutes. Then we'll marvel at the vastness of the universe during the planetarium show. And finally, we'll enjoy cups of hot cocoa and casual conversation as we spot constellations in the night sky. Oh, that all sounds lovely. You sure it isn't too much for one hangout? No, it's all going to go exactly as I planned. Perfect, that is. I got something special for your big night, just in case. Aw, that's so sweet. You didn't have to. Hey, Timber. Want to go inside and see the gravity exhibit? It's really pulling me in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> on account of the gravitational pull? But it says that the exhibit should be right here, next to the statue of Star Swirl. Maybe it got sucked into a black hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the planetarium show's about to start. All shows are canceled for the rest of the day. Oh. Hey, that's okay, Twilight. It's not the end of the world. <gasps> the telescope, come on! Oh, God! Hot, 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 hot! Ow! Oh, I'm so sorry, Simber. Nothing's gone as planned. We got lost, the show was canceled, we burned our tongues, and now the sky's too overcast to spot a single star! And I was really hoping to impress you. Uh, <laughs> tell me about it. Now, how am I supposed to impress you by pointing out the constellations of Aquilius, Pegasus, and Cassiopeia? You know where those are? Uh... I may have done a little astronomy studying in preparation for tonight. Okay, a lot of studying. Consider me... Starstruck. schedule, but if we get on the road in the next 37 seconds, we'll make it just in time to go on stage for Goldie's party. Yeah! yeah! Buckle up, Rain Booms! <laughs> oh, don't worry. The GPS has accounted for traffic. GP hood now? That ninny new fangly thingamy jiggy I know me a shortcut. That's my favorite character.
Well, the earmuffs don't work. I'm now hearing everything everyone's thinking without even touching them. Is anyone else experiencing a sudden, uh, surge in their powers today? Uh... uh... So you have. Sorry, I just heard all of your thoughts. Can't help it. Fascinating. I wonder what's causing it. Hi, guys! I just ran here from the soccer field in three seconds. Wait, hold on! I got my backpack! Yuck, this needs mustard. Super speed is where it's at, am I right? It's like I can't stop because I've been getting so much done. Okay, I may have a theory about what's going on with our magic. Our geodes are all connected, so the more each of us use our magic for everyday tasks, the more all of our powers become supercharged and go haywire. Since Rainbow was using her super speed for everything, all of us experienced an uncontrollable boost. Oh! <laughs> Whoopsies. Well, so long as we use it in moderation, our magic should stay under control. And our geodes will go all glowy if it's about to get wackadoodle-doo. It seems that way. Yeah! yeah. Hey, Rainbows. There you are. Do you want to go to the mall with me? I forgot I have to be at a... a... a thing. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's cool. I don't care anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for looking after my garden while I'm away on vacation, Twilight. I really appreciate it. I'm so excited, Spike. I even brought my own watering can. <laughs> this is the perfect chance to expand my knowledge of botany. Let's get to it. Give a little and you get a little and you care a little and it starts to show. Growing things just give it room to grow. Oh! <laughs> well, hi there, little guys. How are you doing? Give a little, cause you care a little, and you try a little, and it starts to show. Growing quick is easy when you just give some room to grow. Your best friend, you can tell me all your woes. Jump over just a little bit, I need some room to grow. Come on, Twilight, help me out, I'm thirsty, I need love. Over here, I need some. Hey, Mark, you don't gotta show. Help us, Twilight, we need more. That's the water we adore. Just a little extra taste, don't let us off the What the hell is going on here? I don't that's know what happened. I was just watering them, and, and it's that watering can, that's what. It's got magic. Oh, and Twilight, just be careful not to overwater the plants. Have fun! How cool is chemistry class? I can't believe I got to come up with my very own chemical formula. Jalapeno Supernova Cupcake Frosting! That wasn't the assignment. Aw, you sound just like my lab partners. Couldn't have done it without you guys! 
I just got the weirdest text from Timber Spruce. Pirate, plane, alligator, thumbs up, waterfall, golf club, ice cream sundae. What does it mean? Is it an inside joke? A hieroglyphic reference? A secret code? Ugh, my brain feels weird. I'm not used to not knowing things. Hmm, sounds like you could use a translator. Uh, I could help. Leave this one to me. Who can get me out of this textastrophe? No doubt keenly aware, I am fluent in all the latest text slang. Phone lingo, <laughs> if I may. Oh, so you're just gonna... No, no, darling. Thank you so much. But what did I just say? Oh, he replied. Robot shooting star trophy? Oh! He's a witty one. He won a space robot contest. Fancy dress anvil high five napkin. Anvil? I don't know. Shh, Donny, Donny. Do you like ice cream? Who doesn't like ice cream? Check mark, check mark. Couple holding hands, sunshine, three balloons, spoon. <laughs> I'm sorry, but what just happened? Oh, well, I started by sending a dragon, because you're powerful, ice cube and snail, because you're cool, but take it slow, and then pyramid, well, for obvious reasons. And he was way into it, so in this last one, I was just double-checking. You and Timber Spruce have a date on Sunday at 3 o'clock to have ice cream. Thumbs up, smiley face. You're welcome. So, what are you thinking, Fluttershy? I'd start with a bird. Sounds good. Then, iguana, guinea pig, regular pig, frog, baby chicken the egg, baby chick out of the egg, all three see no evil monkeys, cat, 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 all the cats, and, um, finish it with a squirrel on his hind legs. Sounds good. Scent, that was perfect. So what did we just send? A bunch of cute animal emojis. But what does it mean? <gasps> he says yes to the zoo! The zoo? Oh, the zoo! Thank you, Fluttershy! No matter what the problem is, adorable animals are always the answer. Timber Spruce wants to dress up like pirates and fly through waterfalls with an alligator while we eat ice cream with golf clubs for spoons? Crazy! Golf clubs would make terrible spoons. Have you thought about maybe asking him what he means? Ooh, great idea. How would I ask that in emojis? Ugh. Calling? No calling! Who talks on the phone? <laughs> Sunset, what? Hey, Timber Spruce? Sunset Shimmer here. Mm. Mm-hmm. That text you sent, Twilight Sparkle. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> that's what you meant. That's what Twilight thought, but we weren't sure. Thanks. You just boy talked. Mouth words. Phone. He's wondering if you're free to play pirate alligator mini golf this weekend. Oh, duh, of course. How do I say yes? Oh. Yes. What do you mean you failed? Uh, Mr. Cranky Doodle said I didn't have enough experience to pass the driving test. I have a retest on Monday, but it's my last chance, and he wants me to practice with someone more experienced. Oh, <laughs> darling, is that all? I can take you anytime you like. Don't fret your fritters. I can borrow Granny's truck. We could use my car. 
Well, I guess I'll go with... it for the day. If you're going to study driving, you must do it in style. I call it stretch chic. No, oh, just a few things that you absolutely must know. Always have both sparkling and still water. You never know which one your passengers will prefer. Never play the music too loud or too soft. It has to be just enough that their heads bob, but not so much that they cover their ears. And finally, Always have your lights on the ready in case of an impromptu party breaking out. <laughs> your headlights? Rarity, I'm not going to prom. I'm just trying to pass my driving test. Darling, can we do both? Just a little bit. Oh, no, an inch to the left. Now, oh, careful! The shoulder. What's the shoulder? <gasps> Driving can be stressful, darling. Not bad, Sunset. You completed the left turn, the right turn, the U-turn, and the K-turn. But now comes the part where everyone fails. Parallel parking. Don't expect to... Done. Where on earth did you learn to do that? Mm, I just had to stretch my talents. I don't get it. Yeah. Thanks for helping me out, Applejack. Think nothing of it. I've been looking for a reason to take a spin in the old jalopy. Who are you calling a jalopy? <coughs> See? Like she's fresh off the lot. Whew. I can't believe she's still in such good condition. Uh, she's something, all right. You girls ready for the ride of your lives? Now, the first thing you ought to know is... To fail? For anything! <clears throat> All right, Sunset. Use that wrench to loosen the bolts, and we'll get this tie replaced in two shakes of an apple tree. <laughs> and what if I don't have you and Granny Smith around? Well... Oh, this is unfortunate. Of course, I know how to change a tire, but uh, I wouldn't want you waiting around, so I guess... Uh, you fail? Is that fair? Hmm? Not to worry. I know exactly what we need. You do? An apple, Jack. <laughs> Sunset, over here. Sweet ride, Fluttershy. In you go, Miss Kitty. All right, I'm ready to clock some miles on this bad boy. Let's do this. It's the driving safety run. Start your trip with seatbelt time. Nine and three is where you'll be. Adjust your mirror to see things clearer. Check your little engine light to make sure that the trip's all right. The coolest drivers will admire... All right! ...properly inflated tires. So, what are we learning first? Turns, switching lanes, parking? Oh, funny you should ask. I actually have a rhyme for that, too. Now, Sunset, I know all this safety business might seem boring to you. And it is. But it's also... Uh, important. Tell me, what do you do even before you start the car? Turn up the radio! Oh, not that. It's the driving safety rhyme. Start your trip with seatbelt time. Nine and three is where you'll be. Adjust your mirror to see things clear. Very nice. If your driving's as good as your rhymin's, I'm sure you'll do just fine. Ins. I had some help from the best. Now it's time to pass this test. 
Just start the car. Go, go, and go! Ten seconds to set change. Stage crew ready? <laughs> In five, four, three, pyro! And bring in Shiny City! <laughs> Guys, the effect is ruined if we don't get the set across the stage in time with the dancers. Ugh, but it's like moving a ton of bricks that's been built like, like a city! There's gotta be a better way to move this thing. Don't worry, Sunset, I've got an idea. Ooh, ooh, pick me, me too, pick me, pick me, pick me! Surely brains, not bronze, are the secret formula for backstage success? Thanks, Twilight. Your geode powers will make moving this set a cinch. Ready? Magic, go! Twilight, ah! This is the perfect chance to test my robotics club project. I would have gone with super amazing perfect for this specific problem equestrian magic, but okay. Oh, great. There go the robots taking all our high paying jobs again. Yeah! Wait, we're getting paid for this? <sighs> and bring in Shiny City! Twilight, your robot's amazing! Let's do this one more time from the top! Ready when you are. Pinkie Pie, what are these? Party balloons. I'm not sure we have time for balloons. You will make time, Sunset! I mean, there's always time for balloons. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I love balloons. They're not scary at oh. all. Little balls of joy! Traitor! I told you! Actually, they're the set. You mean they're for the set? Nope. I feel like you're gonna have to explain this. Nope. Bring in Shiny City! See? Balloons can do anything! <laughs> While simple machines do provide a mechanical advantage by multiplying force against a single load, i.e. this set, I'm afraid the net loss of force due to friction in the opposite vector has not been overcome. No kidding. <laughs> Your face is an opposite vector. Your face is nothing more than a genetically predetermined arrangement of stratified squamous epithelial cells. Oh, snap, snaps, burn! I think. Harsh. I'm not sure you'll be able to move that giant heavy set on your own. I won't be moving anything. This muscle is gonna convince those muscles to move it on their own. Well, biceps. But I already asked him for help. He's too busy working out for his part in the play. Lump of coal. This lump of coal's gonna be cut like a diamond! <laughs> Go, muscle, muscle, muscle. 
how'd you convince him to stop and help? Isn't it obvious? I fabricated a counterfactual peer-reviewed pseudoscientific study in Insane Lads magazine that postulates the only way to make your shirt uncomfortably tight for the summer is battle ropes. I battled the ropes and I won! You are a genius.